<laughs> he, come back, he comes back. So how dare you use him? For he this? said he said he had a good time, and I said okay, I'll go. Well, He's like, you made it pretty clear here uh, at a few of the shows leading up to this that at this point in your career, you've had enough success. You said I'm going to come out, and you care about the country most. And you said, hey, when it comes to politics, I can't buy what this administration is selling. How tough was that decision? Well, you know, the easy. When you have little kids and you start thinking about, well, I got a good nest egg for them to take care of them financially. But then, like, what, na what does that matter if the country that they, they live in where, like, you know, you have a guy, a president wins at midnight, 3 o'clock in the morning, he loses. You know? Right. And so uh, at, a, at a certain point, you have to think, well, what are you really leaving behind? If people, enough people, will just say enough of this. And, and, and it's not just the Democrats. It's the Republicans, too, because they don't want to give up that power either. And so you really have to, I, I think, um, make, make a case for uh, a return to um, normal, the normal hatred that we have in our government, where all the branches are competitive. fighting. Competitive. Yes. yes. Make, it, make it at least fair, where a fairer, and, and it's, it's not going to be a perfect system. This, this is a, you know, this constitutional republic that we have. It's not fair. Right. It's not going to be fair for everybody, but it is a better system. And, and all you have to do is look around to see what's happening in Europe and China, and you go like, you know what, it's still really darn good here. But I, I, think, I do think we have to stop the encroachment of some sort of authoritarianism, which uh, is happening now. I'll give you an example. I mean, your business, stand-up comedy, it doesn't matter who you know. When you get on stage, it doesn't matter who your dad was, your brother was, your sister was. Yeah. Uh, if you don't get the response, you're not going to have success. It's, it's a Jerry, meritocracy. Jerry, Jerry Seinfeld says, exactly. He says, like, you get, if you're famous, you get 30 seconds, <laughs> maybe a minute and a half. <laughs> then you got to say something funny. Right. Otherwise, you know, people, it doesn't matter. And so you have to earn it. And so I, I do think that, like... That's the country. That's the premise <laughs> of the country, isn't it? You Go out to. and compete. And I do think you have to tell... Here's the problem, problem I have with Generation Z. Now, th I think they're good kids and they're waking up, but I think we made a mistake by saying, you could be anything you want. Right. You could be anything you want. We have to be more specific with this generation, Brian. Right. Because you could be anything you want. I want to be a horse. No, no, we didn't mean horse. <laughs> that we is meant true. Policemen, firemen, you know. Right. Uh, maybe astronaut. May probably not, but, but maybe. You know, and then, uh, but you can't be a wizard. It's just a movie. Or, yeah, and uh, you, you can't pick your gender, especially if you're a child. <laughs> All right, so.